talking about uh, YouTube 210, which are the best practices that you should use uh, when you're, if you're going to develop YouTube as your the pillar for your personal brand. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dave Scriven Young. I'm an attorney in Chicago practicing um, commercial litigation, environmental law, and construction law. And uh, what, what I usually do is come on at around 8 a.m. Central to uh, do a couple of different things. First, I uh, come on to uh, give you a message, um, usually something to do with marketing, sales, and leadership, as this is typically a live taping of the uh, Lawyer Lifestyle podcast. Um, I also come on to um, answer questions um, from the public. Um, so if you have a legal question you've always wanted to ask a lawyer, um, I come on to answer those questions as well. And then also, if you're a young lawyer or a law student and have a particular uh, question that you've always wanted to ask a more experienced lawyer, then I come on and answer those questions as well. So I come on and do a lot of different things. Um, if you're watching live and you uh, have, uh, I just would love to see if you're um, if you're a law student, if you're a member of the public, where you're from, where you're watching from. Um, one of the great things about uh, podcasting and doing these video shows is, you know, finding out um, and, and meeting people from all across the country and all across the world, actually. Um, and so I just want to welcome everyone into the show and we'll get started. So hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the Lawyer's Life, Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast. My name is Dave Scriven Young, an attorney from Chicago, Illinois, and I'll be your host. This podcast takes you on a daily journey to discover key principles in the areas of marketing, sales, and leadership for attorneys. As a reminder, I go live every day at 8 a.m. Central on social media at Attorney DSY to discuss the material for today, answer legal questions, and to mentor young lawyers. I hope you enjoy the discussion. So again, today's topic is YouTube 201, uh, YouTube best practices, and the textbook that we're using today is of course, Gary Vaynerchuk's crushing it. So what I thought I would do today is go through some of the uh, key principles that he uh, suggests or best practices that he suggests and then actually show you um, his YouTube channel so you can see how he, um, how he uses, how he, if he practices what he preaches and how he uses the principles on his YouTube channel. So let me go ahead and um, and this is not going to translate well, unfortunately, as well on the on the Instagram that I'm going live at Eternity Sy or on the podcast. But I will, of course, um, give you some uh, play by play as we go along, um, so you can see exactly um, or you can hear exactly what um, what I'm showing. So let me share my screen with you. Let me bring up. Uh, my screen. Okay. So this is just my, this is my channel dashboard. So you don't want to see that, but what you want to see is, so this is my channel, my YouTube channel, and we're going to search for Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary Vaynerchuk, and we'll bring up his page. Okay. So the first tip is uh, video optimization. And so uh, the first is he, he asked about titles. So have you, uh, how much thought do you put into your video's title? Does the title accurately reflect the video's content? Um, and is the title concise, emotionally driven, optimized? So let's look at some of the titles that he has listed. Um, he has, um, you know, the secret to making more money is stop chasing it. Um, dreams need to make you happy, not wealthy. Um, you know, some of these other ones, my eye opening first week of self isolation. So I think, I'll, I think these are, you know, great titles. So some of them are kind of long. So this first one, for example, um, doesn't make it into the whole, it uh, doesn't make it in uh, when you look at it just on the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of these are, you know, very driven and they tell you exactly, you know, what you're going to be looking at. It kind of gives you the key, uh, key piece of information that you're going to watch, watch about. So I think pretty good. Next descriptions. Um, let's click on one of these videos and see uh, what the if we can show the. Nope, don't want a new tab. We want we want to show. And I want to say hello to the person watching on Twitch. Okay, so 
let's look at uh, this, Gary, this video by Gary V. This is just a, a one of the you know commercials that um, you can watch through. Okay, so let's look through. Um, let's look through this, and so look at look at his description. So um, it's a very concise description, and it shows you it tells you exactly what the video is about. So going through COVID nineteen and the quarantine has caused a lot of changes to routines. And um, he has a lot of eye-opening experience and realizations during that first week in self-isolation. And then he talks about, you know, what else is going on. So yeah, I, mean, I think this this description, um, you know, tells you exactly well. So the next thing is, um, are there links to other similar videos or playlists in the description? Uh, let's take a look through. I don't see um, anything like that, but that's okay. Um, I think. I mean, there are some videos on the side here on the right side, but those are not the videos that I'm trying to show. Those are just videos that YouTube recommends. So he's not showing other videos. So that's interesting. Um, subscribe a link. I don't see one, but there is a, a button to press uh, subscribe. Um, and so you probably don't need that in the link. Um, are there links to other social media accounts? Absolutely. Right here, you can see a bunch of other um, social media channels that he has. And are all the links clickable and trackable? I'm not sure about trackable, but uh, certainly um, they're all, all clickable. So you can, whatever social media channel you want to watch Gary on, um, there's a list right there. Okay, so um, he's doing okay on descriptions. Let's look at tags. Are there at least 10 tags in the description? I don't see any tags in version. And I think, um, so there's a couple of different things that could be going on here. One is, oh, Alina sticks to my website's blog to boost traffic to it. Yeah, I mean, it's a great thing. So um, as I, I, I think I mentioned or should have mentioned at the top of the show, um, one of the, th we're, so we're really trying to figure out like what is going to be your pillar um, for a lot of uh, attorneys, Alina, um, the, uh, your blog is your pillar, right? So there's typically one pillar and then you, you know, boost your traffic, you know, from there. Um, but yeah, putting your, your, um, a link to your blog is going to be, you know, really great. And, um, it just adds, adds to that traffic. So, um, yeah, so I think he definitely does that. So in, in terms of tags, the question at the end of the day is, um, why doesn't he have tags in, in the text? Could be a, different, a couple of different things going on here. Uh, number one, it could be that um, he, he changed that tactic and who knows why. It'd be interesting to see in a follow-up book what he recommends. The other thing is, is when you actually upload the video, there's a tag portion where you can actually um, put in a bunch of keywords and tags that does, don't actually, actually show up as, you know, when you click on the description. So it's more of a, I think an SEO thing where maybe YouTube will pick up those tags, but you don't necessarily need to see them when you're watching the video. I'm not exactly sure why that is, um, but he, it's obviously not something that he's doing, at least on this post. Um, next are thumbnails. So let's look at his thumbnails. Let's go back. And so you can see a bunch of thumbnails are essentially just these pictures. Um, that are above the titles. So are, does the thumbnail accurately reflect the video's content? Um, is there text on the thumbnail? Is it easy to read on all devices? If there is text, does it complement the title? So what I love about Gary V's thumbnails is that they are all different and they're all uh, really clean. And what I mean by that is, so you can see that, you know, for these, um, Tea with Gary Vee, which is essentially his uh, question and answer show that he does, you know, a few days a week. Um, he uh, show you can see they're all pretty much they're similar in design, but they're not exactly the same. They definitely have a very short title, um, and then they have a picture of him, and then a background again, which is I think consistent with the rest of his videos. Uh, but they are all different. So, you know, there are a couple of things that you can do to make um, make these thumbnails. One is a, a something that I use called Canva Graphics, C-A-N-V-A. It's a pretty low cost, pretty low maintenance uh, program. Um, if you, if people who are watching um, use other graphics programs, would love to to plug those as well. 
Um, so just, you know, drop those in um, in the comments section. But um, yeah, so it's a it's a really thumbnails are really important that I found um, to because otherwise it's just going to be a random shot from your video, which is not going to look that great. What I would also say is, um, and I, and I will you know say this again, I'm sure later, but. So the whole point is you're going to use YouTube as as the pillar for your personal brand. Um, then you want to put as much um, time and effort into it as you can, and money possibly as well. I mentioned Elena, Elena's comment, you know, about a blog. You know, a lot of lawyers have blogs, and you know they spend upwards of a few thousand dollars just to get the thing off the ground. And then of course there's some maintenance along the way as well, right? So if you're going to use YouTube as your personal brand pillar, why wouldn't you put the same amount of time, energy, and money into doing something like making thumbnails or making your banner, um, hiring someone to actually do it for you so it looks very professional, it looks great? Um, that's just something that you're going to want to do because whatever platform you pick, go all in. For me, it was the podcast um, that I've been using to – um, that is my pillar. And so I put as much time and effort into that as I can. Um, but if YouTube is going to be your thing, then you're going to want to, um, certainly, um, you know, develop, develop that content and put money and time, you know, maybe hire a graphics designer, uh, maybe, you know, just, you, you got to make it the best that you can. And so these thumbnails are going to be critical. So the next uh, one is YouTube cards. So those are cards at the end of a video that will um, that will show you that will link to other videos that you might want to recommend. So let me give you an example of that um, through Gary V's channel. So we'll click on his uh, his uh, uh, Ask Gary V, but it's actually his weekly V, which is essentially he has a um, he has a person video like every second of his day and then they summarize that into they summarize all of that content into one weekly video it used to be he used to put out daily bees so daily videos into his day um and so let's see what he has at the end of this video because that's where the cards would be let's see if we can just get to just the end of the video um let's get this ad off okay so right here is his um, are his cards. So um, it's actually a really looking, you know, end graphic, which, you know, with part of his banner on the left, um, a part where, you know, asks you to subscribe. And then his cards are to silence your negative thoughts forever, um, what to do when you feel like it's too late, see with Gary Vee. So um, these are the, the two cards that he would, rec he uses to recommend other similar videos. So, you know, again, definitely, if you're going to use YouTube as your um, as your pillar for your personal brand, this is a great way to, you know, show like, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this to show, you know, if you like the video that you watch, then there are two other videos that I would recommend that you watch as well. And so it's just a matter of clicking on it and they're, you know, back again on, on your content um, to watch more. So that's a YouTube card, obviously something that Gary Vee is still using well. So in terms of channel optimization, um, he, he talks about banners, which is uh, the headline, essentially headline picture that you see when you come to uh, Gary Vee's page. So here it is showing the Gary Vee video experience. Um, his podcast is the Gary Vee audio experience, which is kind of neat. Um, it has a picture of him with uh, the social media um, uh, what images around him, which shows that he's, you know, really into, he's a social media guru, uh, new videos every weekday. I'm not sure what this is on the side, just a cool graphic showing that, you know, there's video and then a battery, which he uses often. Uh, but actually it's a very, for him, it's a very sort of simple banner, but I think it tells you everything that you need to know about Gary and about what you're going to get um, through the channel. So it's a really neat, um, Banner. Again, if you're going to use YouTube as your pillar, you're going to want to probably pay somebody to um, develop this banner for you or do it yourself if you're great at graphic design. But if you're not, um, because it's one of the most important things that you uh, can do to people so people can see that you have a, a really interesting, uh, that you have kind of a professional and a very uh, creative uh, channel. Next is the about section and channel description. So let's click on 
the reviews about Page. And what I found interesting about this this is that he does not talk about what the channel is about. He talks about himself, which I think says a lot of a lot about um, about what type of YouTube channel this is. It's a celebrity or personality driven, personal branding driven YouTube channel. So it talks about you know what his business uh, life is from day to day. Talks about uh, some of the other companies that he owns and some of the other things that he does, including a sports agency, a social media agency, advertising agency, and the like. Um, does talks a little bit about his philanthropic philanthropic um, endeavors, and then says that he is a sought after speaker, angel investor, you know, author, and the like. So again, it does not talk about you know channel you're going to see X, Y, and Z. It says this is who I am. This is what I do which I think um, says a lot for what lawyers uh, could and should do. You know, for me, I would talk about, you know, what my, what my practice is like. I would talk about my podcast and, you know, the videos that I do. I would talk about the philanthropic things I do, including, you know, working with the public interest law initiative and a lot of the other things that I do, as well as, you know, you know, you can book me as a speaker, book me as a coach and the like. So, uh, a lot of things that you can put in in this description, but again, it's going to be about you as a lawyer, not necessarily about uh, what they're going to find on the channel. Also, this is, would probably be a great place to, you know, add things like, um, you know, what to do, how, you know, if you get free consultations, how to how to contact you if they have a case, if they want to refer to refer refer a case, excuse me, and that sort of things. So the next is playlists. So let's look at Gary's playlist. A bunch of playlists here. So just to give you some example, again, Tea with Gary V is his Q&A channel or his Q&A uh, videos that he does uh, daily. He has some original films. Um, so he has people on his team create these films. So taking his content that, you know, from various places, from his keynotes, from his, um, you know, Q&As, from his Ask Gary V's, and then puts them all into looks looks for a they look for a pattern and a theme and then they make an original film around it. That's what that is. I already talked about the Daily V, um, his keynote speeches. So what I always found interesting about Gary is that he 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 has you know people pay him you know thousands of dollars probably for him to give a speech at a convention or some other conference, right? And then. He has his people actually videotape him while he's giving the speech, and then he puts it up on this on his YouTube channel for free. So I'm not sure what sort of deal he cuts with the conference people if he does it all, um, but it's fascinating that you know instead of paying two hundred, three hundred dollars for or more for a ticket to go to this conference, if you just want to see Gary Vee, he's just going to pop it on online. Now I'm sure not every keynote speech is is put on here. Uh, but there's quite a few uh, speeches that he puts on here. And, and they're actually really interesting. You know, like this this one um, that's listed here is, you know, 2020 marketing secrets. So if you if you want to get some really great free content, you really, you know, want to know about social media, um, watch Gary Vee's keynote speeches because, you know, they're really interesting. And again, people are paying hundreds of dollars to come and watch him to do that. And it's something that you, uh, you know, certainly can uh, can watch for free. So uh, lots of other things, you know, trash shock. I think it's his garage sailing uh, thing that he does. Um, Ask Gary V is his interview show. So just a lot, a lot of interesting things that you can put on um, that you can put on your YouTube channel. Um, and by the way, uh, there are lots of other things that you can do. So. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention was, and I don't see it on here though. Oh, business meetings. So he actually, as I said, he has people that, you know, uh, actually follow him around and, uh, follow around his life. Right. He doesn't, although he doesn't show his family and that sort of thing, usually his home life, but he will show like business meetings. So he, people come in to do business with him, um, and then he'll actually film them. So of course, you know, lawyers want to be very careful while doing that, but you know, it's really, it's been really interesting to me. Like, you know, what if I taped, you know, a client consultation or something like that? Again, you know, there's privilege issues. So you want to be very careful, obviously, but you know, if you get to a point where you're such a celebrity lawyer that um, people actually want to be on your YouTube channel, you know, asking about asking a legal question, that would be 
you know, probably the highest, you know, level of praise, right? Probably, you know, won't get there for, you know, most lawyers. But um, again, just want to be careful. Just want to say, you know, I don't recommend it, you know, if you're, if you're not going to do a lot of editing and you want to make sure, obviously want to make sure you want to get people's permission before you film or uh, tape anyone, right? Really, really important. So obviously he has a lot of, a lot of playlists, maybe too many, but um, that's really interesting. And then the final one is a channel trailer. Does Gary V have a channel trailer? Let's take a look and see. Um, I don't believe he does, which I find really interesting. Um, he does not have a channel trailer. He does have a video that he recommends that you must watch, uh, which is the how to build the tallest building video. Um, again, uh, why doesn't he have a trailer? I'm not sure. Uh, but it would be really interesting to, to see why. I mean, I think a trailer would be, I mean, for him, a trailer would be, I think, really easy uh, because he has a lot of people that, you know, help him with, with his social media channel. Um, I don't know why he doesn't have one. Maybe he should. Um, but anyway, so th that's my review of uh, Gary Vee's channel. And just, for, um, just to show you sort of my own channel, obviously there's a lot of things that I could do with my channel, I can have a better banner. Um, right now, my banner just shows, you know, the various things that I do: Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast, my blog, um, my um, Lawyer's Emotional Intelligence Book Club, um, and then my firm, which is Picard and Abramson. Um, and then, but I do have some playlists. I do have, um, I do have an about page, yeah, which basically is pretty close to what Gary V does. Um, and yeah, so what, again, you know, just to wrap up, I think, you know, the best thing to realize is, uh, and maybe for your daily action item, I would recommend a couple of things. So first would be, you want to determine whether or not after hearing, you know, this, the last two episodes, whether or not you think YouTube is right for you in terms of making it your pillar content. There are so many things that you could do on Twitter, um, excuse me, on YouTube, and um, the question is, is it, is it right for you? Do you have the tech skills? Um, do you have the graphic design skills? Do you have the, meet, the video chops to uh, go on and um, you know, make it your own? I don't put a lot of time into my YouTube channel, as you can see, uh, because it's not, it's not my pillar. I mean, I would love to, to spend more time on it. I would love to do that. I just don't, don't have the time to do it. Um, I spend you know much more time developing content for my the lawyer lifestyle podcast than I do for anything else because that's that's my pillar. I'm most comfortable, you know, on on audio, and that's just my thing. But if you're gonna if YouTube is for you, go all in. So what I would rec totally recommend is go on Gary Vee's channel, do a much more uh, deep dive into what he does on YouTube, you know, and I would say clone a lot of it, you know. Um, have an interview show, have, you know, do a, a daily show, lots of things that you could do that I completely recommend, but go all in. So just like you would with a blog, just like you would with a podcast or your website, if this is going to be your pillar for your personal brand, put the money, the time and the effort behind it, uh, and you'll be uh, successful. And again, it takes time. All of this takes time. Um, it's going to take time for people to start, um, for you to get noticed. It's going to take time for people to start watching your content, but that's okay. As I think, you know, go back and watch uh, my inter or listen to my interview with Mark Cerniglia on um, on the Lawyer Lifestyle podcast. We talk a lot about, you know, what is the point of social media for lawyers? It may not necessarily be for likes and comments. It may just be you're you're looking for one particular person um, to look at your message. Um, so you can have someone refer a case to you or to have somebody, um, contact you for a case. It's not, you're not going to get, you know, thousands of likes probably on a video. Um, so that's what I would recommend. And actually, if, um, a gentleman, uh, Rob Gruller go on, come on the show on the lawyer lifestyle podcast for, for a Tuesday interview. Um, and he is a great channel all about, um, and his channel is, is, bite-sized legal pieces of legal advice for folks. Um, and so you're, he's hoping that somebody with a particular problem is going to do a search on Google or on YouTube 
and then that his video is going to pop up and then that person's going to call him. So he makes very bite-sized videos for one particular or two particular people hoping to get that person, you know, hooked in uh, to call him. So I'm really looking forward to that interview um, specifically. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to say thank you for everyone, um, you know, who watched or will watch this video later. Thank you um, folks for um, commenting. And um, again, uh, next tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central, I'll be back to uh, provide some more comment, uh, commentary on uh, personal branding, social media, marketing, sales, and leadership, and then uh, to answer legal questions as well as to um, mentor young lawyers. So if you have specific, specific questions, come on by tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central. So until then, thanks so much for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and take care.